Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. you were one of the people who've been here since the very beginning. Supernatural. Yes. You talk about how daunting it is to be finishing that story. It's, um, well, you know, the fact that I've, you know, I've hung into the end is, yeah, <laughs> is pretty, you know, Congrats. amazing to me. <laughs> Um, I wasn't sure how much longer I actually wanted to go, but when the guys said that when they decided, well, this would be it, I said, well, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely see it through to the end. Um, and the fact that I'm seeing it through to the end, I think, is probably going to sink in more, you know, when we, you know, rap for the last time and I realize that the shooting is, is over. You know, right now we're all sort of all dug in trying to get the scripts out and, you know, we just started shooting on Thursday. I don't think it's really hit any of us yet. You know, it's just kind of working and you know trying to make the best show we can. But I'm sure once we wrap, it's going to be. Uh, Will you be directing the final episode? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah I wouldn't miss that. For you. No one else. Right. <laughs> You know, Warner Brothers doesn't like us taking their um, <laughs> taking their property. Uh, you know, there's a little, I guess you would call it an Easter egg. When we uh, had um, the bar in season three or whatever, right? We had a little um, a statuette of a little monkey, and that monkey's been around, right? And every once in a while, we put that monkey in another set, just as if anybody, you know. Yes, exactly. Um, so I'm probably going to take the monkey. <laughs> so you've been on for so long. What's been your favorite all-time episode or season? Uh, favorite episode? Well, there's, I have favorite episodes that I've directed and then favorite episode period. Um, for me, uh, French Mistake was as good an episode of television as, as there could be. Uh, I mean, everybody, it was just, you know, it was such a crazy idea, but it really came off. Charles Beeson did a great job directing it. Um, I think my favorite episode, just because I kind of like the lighter ones uh, more, I like Bad Day at Black Rock. Uh, my favorite season, I like season eight a lot. That doesn't, that's not to say I, the other, ep, the other seasons I haven't liked, but season eight I just kind of liked. I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Can you expect more deaths? I'm getting worried if you were going to kill you. Then we have to tell you about this. Can you expect deaths? Expect, I'm sorry. Deaths. Deaths. Oh, deaths. Oh, I mean our guys? Oh, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, we have so much death in this show, and, and, and death, is death is a character, and um, we've had so many deaths of people that have come back to life. <laughs> so, um, but uh, yeah, there will be deaths. I um, wouldn't begin to tell you whether it's Sam or Dean or not. Have that, but uh, yeah. Supernatural is so identified with its musical choices. There's a lot of Led Zeppelin songs in the episode titles. Are we ever going to see a Led Zeppelin song on the show? Well, you know, we've been the classic rock show from the, from the beginning. Uh, Led Zeppelin's a little expensive. Yeah. <laughs> final, yeah, final season. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if the song fits, you know, in the final season, we're probably going to loosen up the checkbook a little bit. Um, it'd be nice. Yeah. You know, I'm personally not the biggest Zeppelin fan, but uh, I know they're Zeppelin. Um, but Kansas has been great to us. Bob Seeger's been great to us. Um, so we'll continue to do that. But if there's a Zeppelin song that fits and we have to stretch stretch the budget a little bit, we'll, we'll do that. Do you have a show that you are emotionally attached to yourself that the fans are The show that I was attached to? Yeah, emotionally. Not emotionally. I mean, I'm, 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 you know, I love Seinfeld. Well, that works. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have an emotional attachment, but I, I, I can watch episodes of Seinfeld that I've seen five times and I still laugh, so yeah, probably that. Watching the final couple of episodes last season, the relationship between the brothers and Castiel became so fractured because of Jack. How will they sort of get back together and close? Because even though they weren't really going to kill him, they still Jack's um, Castiel still felt very betrayed. Yeah, well, you know, uh, conflict makes drama. That's you know, if you don't have conflict, you don't have very good drama. <laughs> Um, it's going to take a while for uh, that rift to heal this year. That's part of what we're doing in the first number of episodes. Um, they will come together, um, but it's a, it's a bit of a task. Um, it's really kind of a... That was one of the hanging uh, threads that we knew we could, you know, really play with and, and dig into the characters and, and their emotions. Because, you know, and, and, that, and I can't, everybody had a point. No real right or wrong with the way anybody was, was feeling, especially you know the deep, the deep and Casra. You can make an argument both ways, and you know, and I think that when you can do that, that's sort of what makes drama interesting. But they'll they'll come back together at some point. Yeah.